Disney's California Adventure and it is raining if you couldn't tell by me wearing the poncho and all the rain coming down behind me. But anyway, it's early morning magic and since it's raining we're going to try and do an indoor attraction and we haven't ridden the Monsters Inc. ride yet so that's where we are headed. So let me apologize now because today if it continues to rain like this there will not be very much cinematic b-roll. Uh, because it's very difficult to do. This would be a straight up vlog. I don't have the gimbal because uh, again, it's really hard to carry plus the umbrella. I mean, I've got a rain jacket on, but you know, I'm like bouncing already. So we're going in. Just Robert. letting you know. slowest moving ride we've like ever been on but it was cute I like that you rode in a little taxi cab it was kind of like you were going through the movie but you know you were looking for the missing child the CDA 2319 <laughs> so something I think that's really cool here heading over to Guardians of the Galaxy that it's actually on Sunset Boulevard just like it is at Hollywood Studios and the road that leads to Sunset Boulevard is Hollywood Boulevard just like Hollywood Studios that's kind of cool. I think Josh should buy me some of those little things. I like them. Since it's raining, a lot of the attractions are outdoor and are closed here at California Adventure. So we are going to go head over to Disneyland since we have a park hopper. So. We're about to park hop. So we finally entered into Tomorrowland here at Disneyland Park and the Astro Orbiter is actually down for refurb right now. But it's really cool because they've got these like little photos up basically that show you kind of what it's looked like over the years. So the, the original one was uh, far different than what it looks like now. They pretty much have the whole thing taken down. So it'll be interesting to see what it actually looks like when it comes back. But we are going into Buzz Lightyear. If you guys don't know, this is totally different than what they have in Walt Disney World because you can actually take the gun off and shoot. So still a shooting game, though. Uh, looks like it might only be like a five-minute wait. So I think we should just walk through and then do the fast pass. That's hard. You lose. Really hard. I think we need to go try that one more time. I think I've found out where some of the good ones are at. We're going to do Astro Blasters again. And I'm going to win this time. No, you're not. I don't like being out with the gun. It's like the men in black. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Taylor's inside trying to get her thing all fixed. of the Caribbean here does not have fast pass it's standby only and it sucks that it's raining but it's awesome that it's raining because there's like nobody here I just checked the wait time it's only five minutes yesterday it was like over an hour so I think we're just gonna go to pirates now since we can't use a fast pass later
able to get Indiana Jones. So we already wrote this, but we really liked it. So we want to write it again today. <laughs> Josh is struggling to walk backwards to record this. <laughs> So we just got done writing uh, Indiana Jones and uh, it's still kind of like wet outside so the lines aren't too bad so we're actually going to jump into Jungle Cruise and ride that and see if it's really any different than Walt Disney World because But this is the original we don't world really know. famous Jungle Cruise. Oh I guess that is true. It is, isn't it? <laughs> it is. But uh, almost no wait so that's what we're going to do next. ride and Snow White Scary Adventures and both were interesting. <laughs> So I guess maybe we just didn't know what was going on in Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. Maybe that's why it was weird, but it was still cute. And then Snow White's Scary Adventures was definitely scary. I felt like a little kid again went running through those trees. And then it just kind of ended. Like the evil queen pushes the rock down on you and then it's the end of the ride. So that was a little weird. I don't remember if it was like that in Disney World when they still had that ride, but I don't know. We are about to get on Pinocchio now, which I did not even know they had a Pinocchio ride, so I'm pretty excited for this. into the Red Rose Tavern. First off, Pinocchio was very cute. Easy to follow the attraction if you've seen the movie. And we walked into the Red Rose Tavern to get some lunch and Belle and Gaston are just kind of walking around. No big deal. <laughs> so I didn't get my picture with both of them. It was pretty cool that they're just kind of hanging out in here right now. So we are at the Red Rose Tavern here in Disneyland, and this is in Fantasyland. We've got the Beast Burger and these uh, beef poutine fries. 
And the fries that come on the side of the beast burger are actually like this garlic parmesan. They're fantastic. But I'm actually really excited for this uh, waffle fry poutine that we got. Looks really good. Everything looks really good. So not a full dining review, but just trying it out. Definitely the wildest and roughest ride. Not in the wilderness, but in Germany, I guess. <laughs> That's where it's at, right? I think you need a Google search for the Matterhorn. Okay. The Matterhorn is definitely the wildest and roughest ride in Disneyland. <laughs> So if you guys don't know, uh, there's the Galaxies or, or Star Wars Launch Bay in Hollywood Studios. They also have a Star Wars Launch Bay here. So uh, we're gonna go check that out, see if it's any different oh. than what it is. They do have a Star, they have a, they have a Darth Vader meet and greet, I know that. We're gonna go see if it's any different than what it is back home. So we were just uh, meeting Darth Vader and we were walking through the launch bay and out comes Boba Fett. So we're gonna meet him. He's here. Waiting. It's not usually this easy. Let me guess. Upright, law-abiding citizens. How charming. It's pretty cool. How you doing? I could ask you the same question. <laughs> She's trouble, just so you know. I am not. Are you the Corellian smuggler who stole Jabba's shipment of Thoralite? Maybe. Well, while you try to remember whether you're hiding a massive load of Thoralite crystals, I'll just track your every move, if you don't mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stand aside. We are done here. But I need to get your picture. Fine. <laughs> Move. <laughs> Thank you. That was great. That Boba was Fett pretty funny. was uh, he was great to meet. <laughs> Super uh, interactive, even with like the the voice thing. But oh my gosh, he was like really getting close to my face. <laughs> yeah. Really good. That All the characters funny. so far here in Disneyland have been. I don't want to say they've been much better, but they've been really good. They've been much better. Yeah. Well, Star Scores was cool. It's the same. It's, <laughs> it is the same. The queue's a little bit different. And uh, it's similar. But it's pretty much the same. We're actually well, we now- still like Star Tours. Oh yeah, yeah, I mean, great ride, great ride. We're now going to leave and uh, we're actually gonna head back over to DCA because if you don't know, it's just such a short distance to walk. It's like literally walking across the street. We're gonna go do that. We're gonna go ride the Incredit Coaster again. Then I don't know what else we're doing. We'll probably head back and get ready for dinner at some yeah. point. Maybe take a little nap. Hopefully it stops raining at some point. The Dapper Dancer in here singing. Cool 
seeing the Dapper Dans in there singing with the ragtime piano. But now we are officially heading to DCA.